Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. I came across an interesting video that I'd like to share with you. This is an, a person of Arab descent who grew up with anti-Semitic beliefs, anti-Israel beliefs, and uh, became someone that, be, that began to appreciate the Jewish people in Israel through, really through getting to know Jewish people. It's very interesting and, and very lovely uh, story that he has. And he begins talking with people that also are coming from an anti-Jewish, anti-Israel background. And listen to how he explains himself and the interaction that he has with them. Check this out. It's very, it's, it's very nice, uh, the, the type of things that he's doing. I'd like to hear what you think about it as well. Take a look. I'm an Arab Muslim who supports Israel. Let's see what people think about that. So it says you support Israel. How so? There are more than 53 Muslim countries. There are more than 63 Christian countries. There's only one Jewish country. So why would I not support the only Jewish country that exists? Just because Hamas has attacked whatever Israel is doing is okay. I think what Israel wants is to just remove Palestine from the global map. Can you define genocide for me? What does genocide mean? It's a planned yes. killing of a community of an ethnic culture. Genocide actually means killing a large amount of people with intention to get rid of them. Do you think the, that's what yeah. that's what Israel is doing? Yeah. Has Israel killed millions of Palestinians? Yeah. Millions of Palestinians. Over time. Since 1947, yes. That's actually not true. Saudi Arabia and the Iranian regime have killed half a million Yemenis, people from my country, in the past 10 years. So if we're just going to play the numbers, then Saudi Arabia has committed genocide in Yemen. But you don't want to get rid of them, but you want to get rid of Israel. I, I never not wanted them to have a country. I'm against Zionism. What is Zionism? You know that you're a Zionist because you literally said that you believe that Jews should have a country. That's what Zionism means. The situation can be resolved in a peaceful way. But do you think you can negotiate with terrorists who literally try to kill all Jews? I don't think that Israel's been trying hard enough. They tried to negotiate the hostage deal with, with Hamas, but well, they didn't listen, work out. That hostage deal went sour when Israel let them take the hostage deal. Israel didn't let them take the hostage deal. No, it they did. Just stole the hostages. That Would you be critical of the scale of civilian death and suffering in Gaza today? When it comes to Hamas, which is what the Israeli government is trying to eradicate, they are the ones who are using Palestinians as human shield. And they are the ones who are responsible for the fact that so many people are dying. They're not going out and fighting. They are hiding on their tunnels and they're hiding in schools and mosques. And when Israel wants to get to them, eventually and tragically, a lot of people die. And people do not understand this complexity in this war. They push past it and just mention the numbers of people who died and call Israelis and Jews genocidal. Where were all of these protests when literally more Yemenis were killed every single year? It's specifically Israel that triggers people to go out on the street and condemn the war. Yeah, you're right. There are humanitarian crises and tragedies the world over. They're attacking place for no reason. I feel like they for no reason? Was October 7th not a reason to defend themselves? What happened October 7th? Hamas, a terror organization, went into Israel, killed 1,200 Israelis and Jews, and kidnapped 200 Israelis and told the Israelis that we're not going to give you back your people. There's no point in attacking a full group of people. But what would you if someone kidnapped your whole family and were hiding under tunnels, wouldn't you try to attack them and get your family back? Or would you just sit back at home and just wave? But. But. I'll go above and beyond for that person. I think if the terrorist proxies, if they don't give up and realize that they're losing the war that they're starting, then more Arabs and more Iranians and more Yemenis are going to die, and more Gazans, obviously. I'm a teacher, so humane education is the way to end it up. I understand that Israel must defend itself. We're just praying for the best. I don't know if it's anger or hatred, but there was certainly fear that I felt whenever I cross paths with the Jew. Why? Because I thought they are judging me, because I thought they hate me. I used to hate Jewish people. I denied the Holocaust until I met Jews. Have you ever met a Jew? Exactly. And I do think you should talk to Jewish people. You will be so surprised at how awesome they are. I feel like Jews and Muslims have a lot in common. Yes, they do. <laughs> so I just hope that this ends soon. I hope that too. Yeah. It was lovely talking to you. Have a very beautiful day. You too. See, I really like this video because it promotes 
just really calm dialogue between people. And he, he very clearly lays out the facts. It's not antagonistic. It's not yelling. It's not debating. It's not trying to prove a point. It's just having a, a nice and friendly conversation. And if anyone knows who that Muslim a young lady is that has never met a Jewish person before and would like to connect her with me. I would love to the opportunity to to speak with her just uh, human to human. I, I think the more human to human dialogue that we have uh, with people that are good and peace loving people, perhaps misinformed, perhaps uh, ignorant of certain uh, of certain things, but the idea of having good, healthy, peaceful dialogue is something that, if it can be done, is going to be very helpful for society at large.